on the next part of our build the dining table is the leg templates. As you can tell, here's the middle leg here, top leg here to make the base. And then here is the two inch thick stock from the off cuts of the table. And now something we got to be able to handle uh, this thicker material because a flush trim straight router bit is oddly terrifying. And when I hit the end grade on that, I've had pieces fly out of my hand. So we picked up something that scares the crap out of me. And that is this ginormous helical head style router bit. Now, if you look at it, we got two and a half inches of cut capacity in between the bearings there. Uh, it is a half inch shaft. It does run on the lowest setting and it absolutely terrifies me. Routers are the one thing in the shop that scare the ebb and living bejeebies out of me because this solid mass is going to be spinning at a high rate and we're going to be taking off two inches of material at one time. Kind of excited, not going to lie to you guys. But enjoy the B-roll as we see this guy peel through some wood. And then we'll give you our thoughts on the end of how well this works. Now, we did pay $100 for it, and so it is on the cheaper end. We're going to see what we get as far as how good it is, the machine tolerances between the bearings and the cutters itself. Reviews we've seen have been good, not terrible, not great. Uh, some of it has, has to do with people not tightening down or setting the carbide inserts on it we have gone through already and tightened everything down there were two that were loose that would obviously if you didn't do that would cause some issues but we're hoping that uh, we can turn a lot of these templates pretty quick really accurate and with this highly figured wood i don't know if you can see it on camera now but it has a lot of figure all the way through it we're going to see how this handles it we do have one of these on our planer and it handles figured wood really well so we'll give you our, uh, our thoughts at the end while we put it in our router table because there's no way I would suggest anybody ever run something this size with this much mass in a handheld router and use it in your hand. If it's not mounted to something to act as a shaper, I would not buy this. But since we have a router table to mount this in and do things safely and correctly, we did go ahead and purchase it. But again, if you run this in a handheld router, and you're going to use it obviously with your hands and not fix to something i would highly suggest you think otherwise because this is going to be dangerous it's a lot of mass spinning fast granted it's on the lowest setting still spinning fast and if you're holding it by hand and it gets away with gets away from you it's going to get away from you and your piece is going to be toast terrifying to say the least i had higher hopes for that uh that bit not the highest hopes but higher than i got um so as you can see in here we're taking off less than an eighth maybe a little more than a sixteenth and it wanted to just leap this piece out of my hand i tried it on some pieces that were only taking a sixteenth off exact same thing terrible chatter uh, I knew right when I started it, as you've probably seen in some of the B-roll, the vibration is terrible. That most likely means that the tolerances on that bit with that mass are not high enough. I mean, for $100, what can you expect, honestly? 
I bought it with decent hopes, probably knowing I was going to send it back just based on that. We barely touched the wood. I already knew what was going to happen if I went forth with that. And hopefully we did the right thing, took it off immediately. I'm not risk risking to injure these bad boys. I got all 10 of them. I want to keep all 10 of them. But we did get a template bit and a pattern bit. So if one doesn't go up high enough, we can swap out, you know, do the bottom, cut it, swap out the other bit, take the template off, flip the piece over and start registering that other half. And you can get quite a bit of material done with that. And we will get one of those tomorrow and another one next week, midweek, I believe. And so all of these legs will be done properly, better, and I have, I have higher hope. hopes of these bits and bits, uh, flush trim bits, than this Chinese ginormous hunk of metal that's inside this case that's getting sent back. I have used one of these, but it was from Amana, and it cost $400 for a shaper, which handled it fantastic. Granted, the shaper is seven horsepower and a much larger spindle was an inch. So I will say I have had an Amana surfacing bit, which was three and a half inches or three inches, three inches on my router doing our router set before I bought our CNC machine. And it did just fine. It handled well. Uh, we had it a little bit faster than we probably should have, just trying to go faster, that whole bit. But it handled, the router handled it fine. No vibration or nothing. And when I put that thing in, I turned on and my entire table was vibrating and my piece was just kind of walking across the table, I knew something was up. Also, I don't know, you probably can't tell in the film, but it does not actually register off of the piece as well as I thought. It should be exactly flush. It's not, it's actually below the piece a little bit. And there is that gap between that top cutter and the bearing. And I had that gap right at the edge of my template, thank goodness. So I didn't touch my template, but it did go underneath it at that top ridge. This piece is not totally done for, so we, we're gonna be able to trim everything up and be able to use it. But you can see like right in here, there's a ton of tear out. And that's where I wanted to grab. You can see all these marks here. It's not good. And to save these guys, we took it out immediately. It's not worth it. So in hindsight, if you feel like it's unsafe, stop it, just like a cut on table saw. Save yourself, you know, buy something else, do it right. It might take a little bit longer in the end, but overall, that's our first product review of an amazing Chinese piece of equipment.